What's going on, you fam? Were you didn't hear? It's a beautiful Monday morning, so let's start out the week out strong. For those of you that are going back to school right now, do your best, study hard, get that education. Remember that school is a blessing and not a privilege, so do the best that you can. Uh, but anyways, going back to the, some legend stuff, uh, someone recommended that I run a OG Dragon Ball team consisting of these units here. So, Goku Youth, Bulma, Demon King Piccolo, Mercenary Tao, Chi Chi, and Master Roshi. Uh, the difficult thing about this team is that there's very little synergy amongst these different units. Uh, Roshi provides a significant amount of buffs for the Dragon Ball Saga, which is very nice. Both Strike and Blast, that's crazy. But uh, everyone else is, you know, buffing their own respective tags, so people are not getting much in terms of buffs here, as you can see. Barely anything, except the female warriors here are getting a, quite a bit, just because, you know, there are two female warrior units here, but otherwise everyone's not getting much, and that makes things a little bit difficult. Um, but, you know, the one thing I'm going to count on is Roshi here. Roshi gets a significant amount of buffs if you his run alongside a female warrior, like right here. That's actually quite significant, because if you tie Mercenary Tao's buffs to the purple units alongside this passive here, if you run with a female unit, as well as his main ability increasing his critical damage, he can do some crazy damage with his criticals. His uh, stats, unfortunately, are not that great. I mean, as you can see here, his strike attack maxed out doesn't even pass 90k, which is terrible. His blast attack is... I mean, it's... What did you expect, unfortunately? He's not that great. Critical rate is pretty high, which is nice, but his key restore speed is non-existent. And here's another strange thing. He's predominantly, you know, blast, but they give him two strike cards. I have no idea why they did this. This is at a time where Legends was doing some really weird stuff, giving, like, rain, um, you know, blast units, strike cards, and vice versa. It was very odd, but I guess they, you know, got their act together and they stopped doing that. Anyways, enough about that. Let's jump into some P V. P. Woo! Alrighty, here we go. Match numero uno. This team, honestly, this is uh, this is gonna be rather rough. I feel like we're just gonna take a ton of L's here because the team doesn't have the damage output to deal with meta teams, let alone semi-meta teams. Teams that are just like they're somewhat good, but eh, not really. Uh, this team doesn't have the damage output, but they do have the Dragon Ball farming capabilities to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, so we may have to bank on that. So here we go, first match. Um, I'm going to assume it's kind of... kind of movies, kind of god key, kind of sand, not really sure. But uh, out of everyone, that god Vegeta and Super Saiyan Blue Goku look like they're going to be the biggest problem here, so... I'm going to start out with the Chi Chi because I get the feeling he's going to start out with that uh, that Broly there. I'm uh, going to bring in Demon King Piccolo and probably going to bring in Master Roshi. I know he has a God Vegeta but uh, I think Master Roshi's passive here is going to be important. And because we have a female warrior team on the squad I think uh, should be okay. So here we go. Let's see who he starts out with. Now it all how well we start all depends on who he begins to start out with. So. Hopefully he starts out with who he thought, and he didn't, but we still have type advantage, which is quite nice. Oh, that's not a good start for him. Damn, I really like the fact that Bulma has such reduced cost at the beginning here. Caught him in the side step. Probably gonna bring out the red uh, Vegeta again, that is fine. There we go. He probably has two Dragon Balls now. I'm gonna go ahead with this. Gonna go ahead with that. Gonna go, gonna go ahead with this. Missed that one. Complete fail. This is okay. I don't think we'll need a rising rush for this. I get the feeling. Yeah, he has a green card. I shouldn't have tap attack. Gonna go ahead with the strike there. Shoulder tackle. Oh, that threw me off. Some really good damage. Here we go. He's still holding on to it, so here you go. Enjoy this. Oh, okay, that's fine. Ooh, you were not in range, pal. Oh, he's really holding on to that. Uh, he's really holding on to that green card. <laughs> he should have used the God Vegeta. 
There you go, Cloud Wind decides step. Regardless of who he brings in, it's gonna hurt pretty bad. So here we go, we're gonna pop our main ability here. We're gonna go for this. I think God Vegeta will be dead after this, I think. All well, depends on how strong this blaster is. Oh, so close. Gonna disappear here. Get a Dragon Ball, I think. God damn it, Roshi. There we go. Oh, it took a little too long there. That's fine. Oh, I shouldn't have pressed this blast card. Oh, we're gonna go with the strike card here. See what happens. Ah, uh, of course not. I never guess the rising rushes anymore. There we go. Now we're just gonna go in for a card here. He doesn't have any banish. We should be fine. Actually, I don't want to assume we'll be fine. You never really know. Some damage. Gonna keep canceling time. That's fine. I want to see how much damage will Roshi do with all his critical hits here. Gonna pop that main ability. There we go. Let's see. What can you do, Roshi? Ooh. Not that much. His strike dam- oh, okay. His strike damage is pretty much non-existent. Roshi has not aged well whatsoever. Uh, I feel like this is before they started to make extremes very, very strong. But anyways, this is match number one. Let's go look for match numero two. Here we go. Match number two. Hopefully the, the remainder matches won't be matches won't be too bad. My my hope is that they're not gonna be like super meta teams, because we're not gonna we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna survive. We're gonna get shredded, especially if we face hit. Uh, friggin' hit regardless of what team he's on, his critical hits are just gonna go right through and kill everybody. Alright, here we go. This is pretty much a team of nothing but super strong units. This is gonna be really bad. Oh god. Uh, he's probably gonna bring in the Kaioken Goku, and the Super Vegito, and maybe Gohan. Oh boy, this is gonna be bad. Uh, you know what though? Three of them are Sun Family, with one of them being blue, so it would be silly not to bring in Chi Chi here. So we'll bring in Chi Chi, we'll bring in Roshi, and we'll go in with a Demon King Piccolo. Oh, but I feel like that Gohan's gonna come through. I don't know. This is gonna be a tricky one here. I'm thinking Demon King Piccolo to get the Rising Rush super early, because without a doubt, Super Vegito's coming in. Who doesn't want to run Super Vegito, right? Beast 599, let's have a good match. See how this goes. Now my, my hope is that I predicted right who the first guy is going to be because that really sets the tone for the remainder of the match. It's very easy to get a Rising Rush if you are in control right at the beginning, especially with Demon King Piccolo. So here we go. Nice. It's the Kyle Ken Goku, just as I thought. Caught him in the side step. He's probably going to swap out soon. Nice. Very good damage. I wonder if I can sort of bait out that go on. Didn't catch him in the side step on that one. You know what? That's fine. Bye bye. There we go. You know what? I'm not gonna pop his main ability just yet. There we go. Caught him in the side step. He's probably gonna switch out now. Or maybe not. We'll swap to Chi Chi. Because I think our tap attack should do more than enough damage. Oh, going for one more. Aha, there we go. Can I get there in time? Uh, not quite. Not quite whatsoever. And we gotta be careful here. Oof. I'm sorry, Roshi. <laughs> Roshi's gonna have to go for this one. Even though he brought the green Goku, I think out of everyone, this Gohan's got. Ooh, he survived. That was close. Alright, regardless of who he brings in. There we go, critical damage up. Go for a rising rush. We'll go with the blue card. I feel like we'll be safe for getting rid of this guy here. I think Roshi's gonna be able to do more than enough damage to take care of the Gohan. I just don't want to deal with him as a last stand unit. He's not someone I want to deal with. Because Gohan, regardless of what team he's on, last stand unit, oof, he's, uh, he's dangerous. There we go, really good damage. Might start out with a tackle here, so let's back up. Charge key a little bit here. Let's see if I can bait him out. 
Damn it. Of course. I can sacrifice Demon King Piccolo here. Actually, I'm going to take that away from you. Let's see if I can finish him off before he gets to use those. There we go for the tap attack. That is a darn shame, friend. Can you finish this out, Chi Chi? With your main ability and everything? Maybe. Let's see here. Oh, we didn't even gain an additional card. That's a shame. We might not finish him, but we'll be close to it. That 80% additional Sun Family passive. Dangerous. Finish it out, Roshi. Ah, oh, he dodged. Don't do this to your master. Can Roshi tank it? Bye bye. We'll go with a strike card here. Definitely want to keep Roshi because of his type advantage, and we want to keep Chi Chi because of her passive, so. This should be good here. We'll just go in for a key card. There we go. Master defeats student. There we go. This is such a funny win pose as well. Okay, that's a good match. Now let's go look and find numero do. Sorry, no, number three. What am I saying? Here we go. Final match of the video. Let's hope we find ourselves a... You know what? I want to face a really strong team. I want to face either yellow, yellow, blue, or lineage of evil just to see how well we do. Uh, let's see if this team is capable of coming toe to toe with them. On paper, no. They're, they're not going to do it. They're not. <laughs> there's no way. They're not going to be capable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Ooh, Sun Family team. All right, that's appropriate. That's a good way to finish this one out because we got Chi-Chi here. He's going to start out with the Go Tent for sure. He sees Chi-Chi. I know that Chi-Chi going to come through. So we're going to go with... We're going to go... Hmm, where, how are we going to do this? Um, I'm leaning more towards you, you, and you for this one. I definitely think this might be the worthwhile choice. He brought Banana Boy. I mean, well, he has Banana Boy there. Now, a lot of you guys are asking me, uh, what what does that mean anytime I make a reference to him? Why is he called Banana Boy? And that's because his hair, to me, in-game looks like... Just looks like a stock of bananas, doesn't it? It looks very strange. If you watch him use a blue card, he, it just looks like a bunch of bananas in his hair, honestly. Alright, let's see here. Okay, he didn't start out with who I thought. That is completely fine by me. Going for the tap attack here. There we go. Oh, he has no choice but to bring out the blue Goku. <laughs> so this is going to hurt regardless. Ooh. Passive is still so strong. Catch him in the side step. Ooh, we got our critical passes going up too. Look at this. It's fine by me. Right, key recovery. Gotta be careful with this guy. Just because he has a blue card, I can already tell. He's gonna bait it out. There it is. Gonna go to Chi Chi here. Oof. Alright, that is completely fine by me because he's gonna get rising rushed. Go, Roshi! Beat up your student. Even with him having the uh, reduced damage, this should kill. Assuming we don't get gassed. Ugh. No surprise at all that I got gassed. This will always happen to me. I always get gassed. My hope is that he doesn't rise in rush Roshi. I need somebody. Roshi's doing a really good job of tanking this. What the hell? Oh, you got a perfect vanish there. That's not good. Roshi, just coming through with the tanking. What is this? I think I think Roshi can tank for this. No Goku has died. Nice. Good old Roshi. I'm out of the way of that one. Sidestep. There we go. Man, regardless of who comes through, this is going to hurt. Ooh, I'm sorry, Goku. But, uh, this is the end for you, pal. Type advantage with the Sun Family passive. Oof. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh, he didn't even want to sidestep this time. That is fine by me. That Gohan's gonna be a last stand unit, so this is gonna be tough. I'm gonna go into the Kid Goku. 
No, I didn't get it off in time. What is a lag? Found him in the side step. Can you come through for us, Roshi? Can your strike attack do more than enough to take care of the Gohan? We need one more card. Desperately need one more card. There it is. Now that guy's a last stand unit. We gotta be careful. Ooh, finish it off with Chi Chi. There we go. That's a fitting end. I guess against some family units that are blue, Chi Chi is still very, very strong. But, uh, you know, speaking of female warriors, I feel like the next banner is going to be a female warrior banner. Considering where the story is going and stuff, I know it kind of stinks. Uh, I would have preferred that it would be like the Tapion movie, because, you know, Super Saiyan 3, but I feel like it's going to be female warriors related. Uh, some people have noticed that in the missions, it's going to be, uh, you know, clear X amount of stages with a female warrior unit, so it's gonna be female warrior themed, and that's probably gonna be the next banner, which is okay. The female warriors haven't gotten a new unit in quite some time. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, peace!